Statistics and Excel, exponential distribution in seconds, roller coaster line example. Get ready, taking a deep breath, holding it in for 10 seconds, looking forward to a smooth, soothing Excel. First, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, actually, we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us. But but that's okay, whatever, because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like our Accounting Rocks product line. If you're not crunching cords using Excel, you're doing it wrong. A must-have product, because the fact, as everyone knows, of accounting being one of the highest forms of artistic expression means accountants have a requirement, the obligation, a duty, to share the tools necessary to properly channel the creative muse. And the muse, she rarely speaks more clearly than through the beautiful symmetry of spreadsheets. So get the shirt, because the creative muse, she could use a new pair of shoes. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. Here we are in Excel. If you don't have access to this workbook, that's okay because we'll basically build this from a blank worksheet. But if you do have access, three tabs down below, example, practice, blank, example, in essence, answer key, practice tab, having pre-formatted cells so you can get down to the heart of the practice problem, blank tab, blank worksheet sheet except for the image here but you don't really need that so that we can practice formatting the cells within excel as we work through the practice problem let's go to the example tab to get an idea of what we will be doing we're looking at an exponential distribution this time often it being related to a poisson distribution we talked about in prior presentations both often having to do with real life practical examples in line waiting situations or sometimes over some space, such as the example we had with the Poisson distribution was how many potholes uh, in a hundred mile uh, space of road, for example. We're gonna start here with the line waiting situation. Our example was with a, a roller coaster ride, so we will be sticking with that. We're gonna be calculating the Poisson distribution again, so we get an idea of the question being asked with a Poisson distribution, so we can then compare it to the questions being asked with an exponential distribution. The Poisson distribution asking questions such as, what's the likelihood of three people arriving within some time span? Uh, and, and that's gonna give us the percent likelihood that, that those arrivals will happen. So we're looking at the numbers of arrivals. Whereas when we're looking at an exponential situation, we're asking questions such as, what's the likelihood of so much time passing, three, for example, seconds, or if we were talking in minutes, what's the, what's the likelihood that so much time passes between arrivals? So you can see kind of the relationship uh, between these two things and two different questions. We're kind of flipping around the question from the Poisson to the exponential Austin times in these line waiting type examples. Let's go to the blank tab and start building this out. I'm gonna move my roller coaster down I'm going to format the entire sheet as we always do generally, unless I forget, which sometimes happens. Let's hit the triangle, right click. We're going to format this thing. We're going to make it currency, negative numbers bracketed and red, no dollar sign, no decimal. I'm going to say OK, and then I'm going to embold the entire thing, home tab, font group, and have it emboldened. You might not need to do that. You don't need to if you don't like to be too bold. But you know when when we're recording, like we're on camera, you gotta be you gotta be bold when you're when we're doing the filming here. So, in any case, we'll start off. We're gonna say X is gonna be equal to the arrivals during one minute, and then we're gonna say that the mean is gonna be equal to the average 3.25. I'm gonna format that home tab numbers and add some decimals so we're going to say within one minute time span in our line here we got 3.25 people uh arriving uh on average in a one minute time span right so now let's then say okay well then the what's going to be the mean minutes 
between arrivals. I'm gonna make column A a little bit larger by double clicking between A and B. So we're gonna say, all right, now I'm looking for the, what's the time between arrivals then? Well, if 3.25 people on average are arriving within the span of one minute, I could say then this is gonna be equal to one divided by the 3.25. I'm gonna to have to add some decimals there. Uh, home tab number group adding some decimals so we've got the average in essence mean minutes between arrivals are 0 0.30769 so about you know 0 0.3 uh, minutes between arrivals on average right because now we're looking at the intervals between so then you have the question on the in this particular case now the question is well should I be doing this calculation in minutes or would it be make more sense to then drop down to seconds? So we have this measuring tool kind of question. What do we want to be measuring this in? In this case, it looks like seconds might be the better way to go. So if I needed to convert this to seconds and do my calculations in seconds, I would have to say, okay, the mean seconds, I hit caps lock somewhere and be seconds between Arri arrivals is going to be equal to the minutes times 60 because 60 seconds in a minute let's add some decimals i'm going to decimalize it and so notice that's that's uh not a perfectly rounded number but if we use that number in excel then i can use that cell and it will use the the actual number that has been calculated here uh, so we'll keep that and then I can say okay X now X is going to be equal to now the seconds between arrivals so if X is equal now to the seconds between arrivals we're going to say P for example of X is we can ask questions like this X is less than 60 so 60 seconds, one minute, we're less than a minute. These are the kind of questions that we might ask. And we can use our trusty formula now, which is expone.dist. So let's put that in here. We're going to say this is going to be equal to expone.dist. And I'm going to say that X is now going to be 60. I'm just going to hard code that in. And we're going to say comma. Now lambda, lambda is going to be one over the uh, mean seconds between arrivals, which we calculated here at the 18.46. So that's going to be lambda. And then we have this similar question of, is this going to be cumulative or is this going to be uh, as of one point? So we're not just looking at 60. We're saying it's going to be uh, less than 60. So I'm going to say cumulative, and I'm going to pretend that was less than or equal to. I should have an equal there so that we include the 60. So it's less than 60 or equal to 60, uh, or so like less than a minute. So we have true is the cumulative. False would be the non-cumulative. So I can type in true because we want the cumulative or a one, and then close it up and enter. And then let's go with the percentifying it. And so, and add a couple decimals. I'm gonna double click in here and say less than or equal to 60. So in this case, high probability because, and that's why we put this particular problem in seconds because, you know, there's a high probability that 96.12% uh, that, uh, probability within the one minute time frame. So let's go ahead and uh, graph this out now or make our table of it. I'm going to make C smaller. I'm going to say first, let's think about our Poisson distribution and then we will do the exponential. So I'm going to first think of Poisson where I say X is going to be equal to, I'll say the arrivals during one minute. And I'm going to wrap the text on that home tab alignment, wrap the text. Let's center it and put an E on minute. And then we're going to say P of X is going to, for the Poisson, 
function. And I'll say this is going to be uh, home tab, alignment, wrap the text, and center it again. Let's make these black and white, home tab, font group, black and white. So there we have it. And then I can say uh, the number of rows. So once again, I could do this thing with the rows and say the number of rows for Poisson. I'm going to draw from this cell so I can use a function to do it. And I'm going to say, what did I have in my example? Let's say 29 rows. And so I'm going to then instead of doing one or starting at zero, one, two, and copying it down to 29 like that, I'm going to use our sequence so we can practice using the sequence spill function. So there it is. Then the number of rows that we want is going to be this 29 plus one because I want to have a zero in it as well, comma. I don't want any columns, so I'm going to two commas to get to the next argument, start it at zero, close it up, and enter, and it spills out 29, which I can now adjust by simply adjusting this number to like four, goes up to four to 29. So that's pretty neat. And then I can do the Poisson distribution. So now I'm going to say the Poisson distribution equals Poisson.dist tab. And we're going to say that X uh, is going to be equal. Now this time, I'm going to try to have the Poisson distribution spill as well. So I'm going to select zero, hold down control shift down. So I select the whole thing, control backspace to get back up to the top, comma, the mean, we're talking about this mean now, the 3.25, I'm going to select F4 on the keyboard so, so that that's absolute dollar sign before the B and the 2, comma. We don't want it to be cumulative because I'm looking at the result for each number for each X on the left. So I want to type in false or I can put a zero in. I'll put a zero in and then boom and it spills it down. I'll select the whole column here and percentify it. Home tab number group percentify so we could recognize and then add some decimals and so there we have our Poisson distribution so we're basically saying what's the likelihood that zero people show up within uh that the zero people show up within the one minute time frame uh 3.88 what's the likelihood that one person shows up within the within the one minute time frame 12.60 what's the likelihood that two people show up 12.48 within the one minute time frame what's the likelihood that either zero two three up to two people and including two people show up well here i can actually sum these up and i uh, get get the general uh response so i can say this is like equal to the sum of here now we might not be able to do that with with uh, the exponential uh, distribution so you got to kind of be careful there uh, but that's the general that's the general questions that we can ask with it now let's do a similar thing with the exponential so I'm going to make column F smaller and this one is going to be equal this time I'm going to do it this way equals the X's the seconds between arrivals and then this is going to be p of x for the expone, I'll call it. And let's make this one home tab, font group, black, white, wrapping the text and centering it. And then I'm going to bring this one down to like, I don't know, 120, let's say, seconds. Because we're talking seconds. So let's say this is rows for exponential distribution 120 so we'll do our same kind of thing with the sequence equals sequence boom and then the the rows that i want i'm going to say are 120 from that cell plus one so i can put a zero on top comma and then uh we want to have two commas because i don't need columns and then i'm going to start at zero close it up spills it down and this one doesn't shouldn't be a percent this should just be normal let's see if i can just format paint this one up top i don't know why it percentified that one but there we have it 
now we can do our expone for each of these. So I'm gonna say, okay, this is gonna be the expone dot dist, and then X, I'm gonna to try to do the spill this out again. So I'm gonna select uh, this cell and then hold down control shift down arrow. Oh, que paso, I went to the right arrow. <laughs> Let me do that again. Let's go here, control shift down arrow and then control backspace and then comma and then lambda uh, we had over here we calculated lambda to be I'm sorry it's one over this number that we calculated on the right I'm going to select F4 on the keyboard to make sure that that doesn't move down when I copy it down so dollar sign before the B and the 5 and then comma then we want the this time not to be cumulative so i type in false or i can put a zero and spills it down let's add some decimals or make it a percent possibly home tab number group percentified adding decimals so there we have it so now this is asking uh the question of what's the likelihood that like one second passes between or zero seconds or one second passes between between arrivals right so now we're we're trying to think about how how long is it going to take between arrivals what's the likelihood of two seconds happening uh between arrivals now note the question we had down here uh p of x is less than or equal to 60. so you would think that i can add this whole thing up like this equals the sum of this down to 60 but if I decimalize that we don't get exactly the same thing possibly due to the curvature of of the graph here so you got to be a little bit careful with the exponential in that case so you want so if I wanted to do that I could I could get the exact area under the curve by doing my cumulative uh, type of calculation thusly let's add our two graphs with this i'm going to select let's select this one and, and make the poisson chart so we can see what it looks like that we've seen in the past we're going to go into the insert we're going to go into the charts and hit the chart drop down let's just make the good old bar chart and we're going to say there it is I'm going to select the data like we typically do and then I'm going to say let's pick up our X numbers and there we have it so there we have it so so you recall the general character of the Poisson now let's do the exponential so we could do the exponential with a with a similar graph if we wanted to I can go all the way down here and say let's do the same graph we'll say insert charts graph and we get something like this and let's change our X again and say I want to change this and make sure we pick up the zero yo pick up the zero yo and then we're gonna say there it is uh, you might also use something like this just to fancy up the graph you can say let's go to the insert line graph and let's pick one like like uh, this one so it fills in like so cuz that's fancy so we could do something like that if we if we want to why not man no one's stopping you if you want to get fancy so then we're gonna say I'll get fancy if I want to get fancy that's what I'm talking about so then there we have it so we have we have something like that so that's the the typical that's you know the the look of the curve that you would generally imagine when you're thinking of an exponential type of situation so in this case what's the likelihood that 
that someone arrives uh, within within uh, <laughs> what's the likelihood that two second that uh, one second passes between arrivals 5.13 uh, two seconds pass 4.86 and you can see the drop happening quite sharply here as is being represented by the graph that's what you would basically expect to see on uh, the graph now we'll do a similar calculation next time but we'll try to think about it in terms of wait times for example uh, in minutes uh, rather than a situation in seconds but you got to be careful about you know obviously the conversions between minutes and seconds so let's make this uh, blue and bold home tab font group let's make it blue here and let's uh, border it just to make it uh, a little bit more as our typical uh, formatting home tab font group border blue here let's make this one border blue too. border blue and then let's uh, check the spelling if we could Expo, that's too, that's cool. I don't care about that. Ignore that one. Uh, during, during, you would think that's dist, whatever. Ignore that. Okay, that's pretty good on the spelling. I feel like.